is going on? It's your boy, Ewok Tree Hugger. 1769 here and if you know this guy there is no one else out there who loves ewoks more than me i lied and today is an exciting day because it's the endor escalacion number one event where we can get some pop loose shards a couple days ago i showcased all these new ewoks and wicked back last friday so if you didn't see it check it out they are seven stars zeta i was able to showcase them beforehand and today i'm finally going to unlock it myself so let's get into this event and have some fun here all right now for this first event we are going to put all of my ewoks and look at them knights in shining armor here let's get going battle number one coming our way it doesn't stand a chance guys let's do this now i showcased all these abilities the other day and vigilant strike allows him to share defense up with himself and an assisted ewok ally if he does call one now watch this ewok this ewok does some crazy stuff watch this oh dang it boy that's how we do it Woo! these ewoks are off the chain man oh watch this guy this guy can dispel all the buffs man these ewoks are insane now this ewok right here can do even more insane things watch this watch this here we go look at that watch out arena ewoks coming your way destroying the meta left and right nothing stands a chance and i'm talking to you darth nihilus all right so now we're getting beaten up here a little bit but it's all right these ewoks are just jam packed full of stuff here here we go next one Woo! Baby. All right. Okay, come on. I need to see I need to see some more Poplu, man. Come on, Poplu. Get in battle. These other Ewoks are upstaging you, man. Come on. Here we go. So what we're going to do, I believe this ability applies speed down. Now, this is a tank that's got a lot of interesting stuff going on, but I do not think it, outside of an Ewok team, he's not going to be that useful because a lot of his stuff seems to benefit mostly Ewoks. And it looks like we're done with battle number one didn't even break a sweat and we got 25 shards of this bad boy so just completing the first battle unlocks this character for the very first time but we're not done we're gonna keep on moving forward all right coming back at you with battle number two here and in this one they want to showcase diversion which allows poplu to taunt as well as applied uh speed down so let's go ahead and try this out all right awesome there we go now poplu one thing you got to keep in mind oh here my favorite ewok right here Boom! There we go. Now, one thing about Popple that we have to keep in mind, he's not going to be your big damage dealer, and he's going to be useful for many events. I, I mentioned this last time. I'm not sure how they're going to be in Arena. I know for sure you're going to be able to win battles offensively. That's no doubt. It's a matter of defense if they're going to hold themselves, and I think they're going to struggle a little bit more than the Imperial Troopers do in Arena. Now, Imperial Troopers are at least top 50 uh, Arena viable. I see a lot of people run them. Um, but I'm not sure about Ewoks. We got to see how the Ewoks are going to be in the top end uh, of Arena mainly. But uh, they are going to win battles. I know that for sure. It's just hard to say if they'll be able to beat your Captain Rex teams. Teams that have Varus. Because of the fact, uh, once we see Wicket, uh, hopefully whenever he comes out, we'll be able to try his kit like this marquee event. It relies a lot on critical damage. So we got five more shards. But we're going on to battle number three. And battle number three it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ooh, who's this guy back here? All right, well, let's look at Galvanize first. This removes all debuffs from himself, and uh, he gets to target another uh, Ewok. All right, let's 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 call him this Ewok. Oh, that didn't do anything. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> that Ewok is out of service. Now, who's this guy? Oh, ATST driver. I don't remember seeing him. He may have, may have been around here somewhere. And uh, so where was I? So yeah, as I was saying, a lot of people in that last video that I made recovering the Ewoks, a lot of them are saying, oh, man, they're going to destroy Arena. Other people think uh, they're going to suck both on offense and defense. Uh, really, we're going to have to see. One thing to keep in mind, the footage that was used in that video was provided by EA. And there wasn't, we didn't get gameplay covering every question I had. And the biggest one was Captain Rex teams with General Kenobi uh, or teams that had Barrett. None of the gameplay we had had any of those characters in. And... Most of the top in Arena has one of those characters, Barris, Captain Rex, General Kenobi, because once someone gets that critical damage immunity up, I don't know how good the Ewoks are going to be. But hypothetically, if there is nothing on the field that prevents critical damage, I think they could be quite amazing. They have the chance to have like an infinite turn meter loop to always constantly feed turn meter, call and assist. So I think it would be great in that regard. But we got to see. Uh, you know, who knows? Maybe the meta will change by then. We don't know. But... Uh, as far as I know, it looks like 
we're not getting rid of Captain Rex or General Kenobi anytime soon. And look at that. That nice white Ewok just did some massive damage there. So that was battle number three. We got 10 shards here. I suspect we'll be able to get this character to three stars and then 15 shards towards the next one. But we'll find out here. One more battle, guys. It looks like I am wrong. This is not our last battle. We have a bonus tier. I don't remember having a bonus tier in a marquee event before, but we have to do battle number four first with my favorite Ewoks here. Let's try them out, and then we'll see what that bonus tier is all about here. So now, yeah, so one thing, if, another thing to keep in mind, one thing that's going to make uh, Poplu great for Ewoks is that he can taunt when he is stealth. When, he's, when he goes stealth, he taunts right away for the Ewoks. So that's one thing he's going to be good for. He's going to be great for the Ewok team. Outside of that, I don't know. What I will be doing shortly, once the Ewoks have been in circulation for a while, uh, people got to use them. I'm there's going to be plenty of people who are going to buy the packs. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, people, There are people who love Ewoks out there. Maybe more than I do. I mean, it's hard to believe. I know. But uh, what I'm going to do eventually is, uh, if you guys followed me on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook, uh, and sometimes in the YouTube comments, I'll post it in the comments, I'm going to probably open up a survey and have all of you guys rank these new characters, Low Gray, Poplu, as well as Wicket, from Grandmaster to Youngling, and see what you guys think. As of now, Wicket seems to be the best Ewok character. He does some crazy damage, has a pretty nice AoE, but again, it's focused a lot on critical damage. So, right now, I'm thinking he's kind of like the Lando or Snowtrooper for the Ewoks, especially with that AoE. It does a lot of great turn meter gain. But, I don't know, it doesn't do that much damage on his AoE, but just the fact that he relies so much on critical chance and critical damage. Screams Lando and Snowtrooper. And, alright, so this last battle looks like it might be a little bit harder here. Now, my Tebow, I think he's like gear 9 or gear 8, same thing with Ewok Elder. Never really focused too much on these guys. Uh, I don't know who to get out first. All these guys are pretty scary. There we go, bada bang, bada boom. Got him! Next one. Oh, let's put Death Mark on this guy. Woo! Man, Ewoks of Death Mark. That is absolutely bonkers. There we go. Knocking him out one by one. And come on. Oh. Oh. Baby. Boom. They done. They finna done. Finna dinner done chicken dinner. All right. So now we got the 25 shards. We're going to get him to three stars for sure. Let's check out this bonus tier and see what it's all about. Okay, we might get something decent. Let's try it out. I'm not sure what to expect out of this bonus tier, but we will soon find out. But bringing our conversation back to Ewoks, despite the fact they look like a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys watched that video I showcased, I ranked them as a knight. I think they are much better than the Phoenix faction, slightly worse than the Imperial Troopers. They're going to do... Ooh, ooh that's a great, <laughs> that was a great hit. Um, they're going to do some nice things. I'm not going to gear any more Ewoks up. I got my Chirpa to almost 7 stars, and he's just going to sit at 7 stars in case they are needed for something. I don't know if the Wicked event will need um, will need a Ewoks only. Uh, people, I, I believe someone may have said that you don't need Ewoks for Wicked. It's supposed to be another marquee event. Don't quote me on that. I just feel like I've heard that from somewhere on the Reddit or the forums or in a post somewhere. But even beyond that, people have been making these hypotheticals that perhaps these will be needed for C-3PO. Now, I'm inclined to say that's not going to happen. We're not going to have <laughs> Ewoks needed for a C-3PO if he ever did come into the game. But then I get reminded of the fact that I said to myself that there's no way we're going to need Phoenix characters for Grand Admiral Thrawn. They've been paid to play this whole time, yada, yada, yada. And then before you know it, what do they do? We needed Phoenix characters for Grand Admiral Thrawn. So I'm at least going to get the, the free-to-play Ewoks to seven stars. Uh, Tebow, Ewok Elder. I just need Chirpa to seven stars. He's almost there. And um, we'll, then we'll just kind of go from there. But I'm not... I'm not gonna go out of my way and, and gear up these guys. Uh, if you guys also watched that video last week, I also kind of ended with a hypothetical saying that they might not be the best arena team offensively and defensively. Yes, they will win battles, that's for sure. But the question is, when they were designed and reworked, were the territory battles put in the back of the developers' minds? And that is definitely a true possibility. Oh, woo, we lost one of my Ewoks! And if that's the case, if they did indeed have these Ewoks in the back of their mind, I think it, it'll, it may be worthwhile to gear up these guys, but I have to wait until then. I know just as much about territory battles as all of you guys, so we have to kind of wait and see how all this pans out, and uh, hopefully, 
hopefully not too long because I know the AAT, it's funny, last year in July, that is when they showcased the trailer. They also showcased uh, some, some other things with the AAT rate, but it took goodness. Uh, it was, uh, geez, it was, let's see, August, September, October. It was about three or four months before they finally released the AAT raid because I remember this when I got to, to EA uh, for my first trip in Sacramento, not Sacramento, in uh, San Francisco. That's when I got the showcase General Kenobi for the first time and the AAT raid. And then shortly after, the AAT got released. So I don't know if uh, it's going to require that much time for this territory battles as well. But uh, hopefully not. But again, at the same time, we want to make sure that the Territory Battles is great when it first comes out. We don't have many issues because uh, this is something a lot is kind of writing on and we're really excited to see. So, all right, let's see what we got here. Now we got nothing good here and nothing good here. I was hoping for some speed. It's all right. They'll probably just be sitting in the inventory for some use in the future. But let's go and activate my boy, Pop Blue. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to unlock my boy, Pop Blue. Escobar. Here we go and see you on the other side. And there we go. We got a two star Papalu Escobar here. He's going to be a nice addition. I think if you are going to run these Ewoks in Arena, he will be essential. He also has some use for the AAT raid, so he will be useful for all of our Ewok fanatics out there. But let's go bump him up to three stars, and here we go. Three star Papalu. Mm, that is a sight to see. But there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this event. Another marquee event is coming July 25th, I believe I is correct. And uh, that's when we should be able to unlock Logre. And he is by far the more interesting Ewok, in my opinion, with Wicked being the most interesting. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like down below. Comment as well. Sabine Wren in depth review coming out this Saturday. So stay tuned. And we will talk again very soon. Peace out.